Okay. Hello, gamers. Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Now, right off the bat, I'll mention this. First of all, I'm very excited for this game, but I have never been very far through it. I tried recording it before, and then my fucking save file got corrupted, so I have to delete it, and I'm going to start a new one, as you can see. No saves found, so we're just going to hop into it. So, yeah. I'll leave- I'll let everything play in terms of cutscenes and such. Oh, oh my, my god, god game work! This cutscene is badass. True. There's Benny Boy. consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, there it is. dedicated to old world values of democracy, and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The poor damn. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar. Aves Kaiser. <laughs> Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier. Hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. I would never guess. It seemed like Whoa. a simple delivery job. <laughs> it's almost it's like I've seen the cutscene before. For the worst. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh I, I thought, thought that, that was a torture game. You're crying in the rain, pal. I guess he's waking up over here. Time to cash out. Would you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I had a think, Dick. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in the sink. From where you're kneeling, it must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. The game was rigged from the start. There it is. 
It just works. Bethesda Softworks, Obsidian Entertainment Production, Fallout New Vegas. Okay, you probably know this better than I do, but, like, what is the plan of shit? Like, what is it? I, that's one thing I don't know, and I've tried not to spoil myself on it. I have no idea what it's for or what it does. Because, like, there's a part of me that wonders if it's, like, like, is it, like, a water chip for, like, Vault 21, like, to call back to... No, I, Benny actually pulled it out right there. It's just a poker chip, but it's made of platinum. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's for, but... Because I was, was going to say, say, it's like, it's probably... Because when I, I think, think of a chip, chip I, I think, like, a Fallout 1, one or like, like, a Vault. Yeah. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bear. Let's see what the damage is. I'm up your name. Can you tell me your name? No. My name is your mom. My name is Jim. Jim Swim. Yeah, yeah. And I'm here. But if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Brookston. Now, I don't know mine, but I have to go rooting around here in your noggin. Here. I'll start streaming it to you real fast. Uh, I'm gonna call it 36. I have to do- I have to run and do some stuff real fast. That's okay. I'm gonna find the typewriters. But you strings and strings. Epic Fallout customization. This is very epic. I have so many fusion cells and I don't know what to do with them because I don't have an energy weapon. Yeah, I think that was the one I picked. Hold on. Yours was the shaggy hair, so... That's right, I think it was this one. Either this one or this one. I think it might have actually been this one. Or if it oh was the God. other one. I thought I just saw Mothman for a second. Hmm. Like, I thought I saw red. Like, glowing eyes, but I... Yeah, I think that was the one I picked. Oh, oh my goodness! If you're here, tone, tone, I'm wider, I, I know I'm wider. Wide. Should be good enough, actually. There's hair. There's absolutely nothing. Are you sure you want this to be a good? Yes. Stuff that matter. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. 
Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Do you see Doc Mitchell ever again? Like I'm yeah. You, you can talk to him whenever, I think. Because there's a part of me that wonders if like, like, he's like a major player in the story, because like, he seems like a character you can. I think he's more here for like getting you started out. Yeah. Kind of like the Vault Overseer, but not the Vault Overseer. Right. I mean, he does give you the Vault 21 jumpsuit when you start out, but... Yeah. I'm just gonna drain everything and then we'll do it from here. Actually, I remember it was seven, seven, six, 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 four. four. Mm, I might put I might put a little bit more into luck. I think. That's right. That should be fine. I think I think having decent luck in New Vegas makes a lot of sense. Seven luck. Why not? Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after yep, a that's a pretty standard score there. Well, yep. your vibes are good, but that don't mean the bullet didn't leave you another big one drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Done. Let's go. What is that? Oh, I picked All up a right. book. Shit. Dog. Dog. Feed. House. House. Shelter. Night. Sleep. Bandit. Light. 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 Light beam. Mother. Okay. okay. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Not gonna lie, I want to play, play New Vegas, Vegas just because of the, like, like this character customization. It, it's really uh, well done. Section. I'm all. Um, I charge in to deal. Almost done. Last one. Yeah, she yeah, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I think that we pick gun. We pick. We pick guns, medicine, and then repair. I think it was, although. Great items and gun ammunition. I didn't really use it much, though. Maybe science would be better to have, although I'm not sure. Which, Which one? Science. I don't know if I should take science or repair. I think that repair seems to be more... Repair seems to be geared more towards, like... Guns and making bullets and repairing... You know, I actually will go for that, then. I'll go for that. Sneak is also for pickpocketing, which might be interesting, but... That should be good, and then... Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Yeah, yeah I, I do. do. What hmm. that stop being a wouldn't it, wouldn't it be funny if I wouldn't it be funny if I did It was skilled and trigger discipline were the ones. That's right, yeah, and then I can balance that out later. Cool. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you later. <laughs> I just one-shot a super with a pickaxe. Oh, with a pickaxe? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Here, these are yours. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find an extra kin. 
but it was just something about a platinum chip. Alright. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Pip Boy 3000? They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now. Yeah, I don't know how you get the... The, the, the one what is called the... the Pimp boy. <laughs> I think that's a mod. No, it's, no, I think you can actually get the pimp boy. Oh, I didn't know. I thought that it was just a mod. I thought, I think you can actually get the pimp boy. Alright, I'll talk to Sonny, blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Doc Mitchell. Door to Good Springs is open. Yes, yeah, so see, now I'm just getting all of this shit from all the DLCs. Let's see here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to data, quests, we get epic. Alright, so we're gonna talk to Sonny first. Yeah, I think that that quest is actually optional. The whole thing with back in the saddle. I think she'll, she can give you the thing and then you just kind of make the shit and whatnot, but... Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna meet her outside behind the saloon. We're just gonna try to speed run this first little section. Everything all right? Yeah, okay, yeah, so you have to just wait for her to walk out there, I guess. Come on. Now, see the right. little bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple. Of That's a good idea. Shit. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm yep. heading back now. Hope I didn't. Hey, do me a favor. Yep, talk to Trudy. All right, so at this point, we've already... This is about as far as I got in about 30 minutes, and we've done it in, like, what, five? So we're on good pacing. Trudy is... She's she's still inside, right? I'll put away my gun. Oh, maybe that Oh, see, here, yes, look, here we go. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're throwing this time to the ground. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Why? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. See, there we go. Now, this is correct. Last run, I talked to her as as she exited her house, and we didn't see the scene between her and Joe Cobb there, so... There we go. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Honestly, for 2010, the graphics and lip, like mouth mapping is pretty good. Actually, expect anyone to come after him. He's held up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sunny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, chain gangs really. All right, I'll just skip through some of the dialogue since this is basic stuff. All right. You mean murder? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have. Of course. All right. Alright, so that's when she talks about Victor. It asked for me now. It was him. Yeah, so that's just. Fine. Let's see. Trying to track down the people that attacked me. Other than there were a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. 
They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north. She could bet he's an asshole. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants are going to stretch about 15 like it's radioactive. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Will do, thank you. Sure. Yeah, All right, here I okay, couldn't. I think something broke on the inside. I have a decent, I have a decent um, repair skill actually, so I might be able to fix this right now. I think the, the check is probably twenty five. Be careful out there. Yep, we'll do, Trudy. Now, where's that radio? Since I think that would be a side quest, right? Data quests. Oh, hold on. Speaking of radio. Unfortunately, we didn't get Big Iron for the first one, but that's okay. Hmm. Repair the radio. There, we fixed the, we fixed the radio. Feeling thirsty? Radio fixed. Yeah, how'd you fix it? With flex tape? I don't know. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks. Oh, here, I wonder if I have this skill. Oh, I succeeded. <laughs> nice, nice. We got a few more caps out of it with the barter skill. Hell yeah. Show me what you got for sale. I'm sure I've got something you like. Nope. Be careful out there. Will do. I'll save right now. That's probably smart to start doing this. And I think I'll do what I did with Fallout 1, where just I'll save over new things, you know? You know what I mean? Like, instead of just yeah. overwriting saves, I'd save new times. So that if something did happen, I could load an old one. Alright, so I completely forget what we were going to do. Oh yeah, we were going to talk to, um... We're going to talk to Ringo. And we're going to get that whole thing going. We're going to get that whole shebang going. I think that the three skills that we needed to be able to get everything where we needed speech, we needed barter, and we needed explosives to level up. That's close enough. Sorry about the gun. The gun was too... What are the rules of caravan? Blah, blah, blah. He talks about caravan. I have time for a game right now. Yeah. All right, so basically, basically, I'll try to summarize this as best as I can, just because this is early game stuff that doesn't really matter too much. Once we get to the NCR, then we'll be juicy, right? But let's see. What are you gonna do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can. So he's gonna lay low and stuff. You need a hired gun, I'm available. I don't need payment. We just did it. All that's ground. So now we're just gonna head out, we're gonna talk to Sunny. And then I think that we do need to do some things. So I'll start heading towards Prim, and that should level me up to level two or three maybe. And then once I have that, then I'll be able to sink those points that I need into the other skills. See, we've got a whole system going. We're all fine. We're all fine and dandy. This is all done in one day as well, so... It is a system that will work. Yes. Because as we know, it just works. Just like that? Joe, however, between you, me, and Reno, if you could... see here. Easy P to finally Doc Mitchell, yep. Let's see. Oh, oh that, that was clutch. Like that. A silver tongue would help. Not in good springs now. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack a gun on. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Oh my god, that was a lot of rats. You'll need those to pick the lock. If the lock's too much for you to handle, I'm dead. I'll be ready. Alright, so now we're gonna head out and I j I'm gonna start heading towards Prim. I'll mention that much. Just because let's see. Let me open up my Pip Boy and mark that. 
if Ghost Town Gunfights, that's where we just... Yeah, I know that we can actually... Let's head to Doc Mitchell real fast. So here, this kind of answers your question. He can basically give you just medical shit and heal you up, I think. So that's pretty neat that he actually does oh. that for you. Yeah. It's kind of like one of the people in, um... And not, not, not 76, but, uh, Fall Court. <laughs> yeah, here's... Here's Doc's house. I need to find him. Where'd he go? Where is he right now? Doc, where are you? How's it going, bud? Welcome back. Seems oh my like god, I'm so sure. Cool. Oh, not much good, I'm using explosives. It ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it in here. Take what I got. There are two doctor's bags. Need medical supplies, sure. sure. Alright, thanks, Doc. Cool. I don't know if we got as much as we did before, but our actually, first aid box might have some things. We'll take the bobby pin. I'll take that bobby pin, that stim pack, that'll be nice. Ammunition box three. I didn't know he had 357 rounds in there. Huh. There's actually a good amount of stuff, and none of this counts as stealing, so. Doc's just a nice, generous guy willing to help out a dude that got shot in the head. Which I guess you'd hope from before a doctor, but... Shit. Yeah, did I low-key rob Doc Mitchell? I guess, but... Oh, there's a baseball key. Chemistry set. Oh, you can make chems here. Doc Mitchell's house seems to be a little bit more important than I thought it was. I'm hashtag epic. I literally run in. Oh my god. Again. I'm a team of the Cool. Alright, so we saved right there as well. I'm gonna start making my way towards Prim. So this is about where we got in episode 2, actually. Oh yeah, cool. I understand how weapons work. Cool, thanks. The weather 10mm pistol is actually really good. The 9mm pistol is also really nice. Let's see, but what I want to look at, we're going to mark they went that away. Let's see. Talk to Victor. You can, you can talk to Victor. You don't need to. I think I might, just because Victor's a pretty neat guy. If I, if I see him, I'll talk to him. If not, it's optional. You don't need to talk to Victor. He's just kind of there. Oh, he's, he's over there. You know, I will. I will. I'll go say hi to him, just so I can get that little ping off my map. You see old pal Victor rolling around? I like my buddy Victor. Yeehaw! This game lets you live out the ultimate cowboy fantasy without being a cowboy. The ultimate post-apocalyptic cowboy fantasy. Yes. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Aw, oh, thanks, Victor. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he's on the straw, blah, blah. Completed. Do you know about those men? I really like Victor's voice. I like Victor. I like him. He's cool. Prim Slim is the real badass. That's where the badass... If we can get to Prim Slim in this episode, that'll be neat. <laughs> I like Prim Slim. Prim Slim is the, uh... He's the, he's the little robot that you can make him the sheriff if you have 30 science, I think. The sheriff. That's probably the only reason that you got that, like, you put stuff in science is so you can make Prim Slim the sheriff. Yes, ultimately, ultimately, I think I did decide to get for a pair instead, but, oh, okay. yeah. But that, the, yeah, that was the reason why I was considering Scythe, because Prim Slim. But there is an NCR guy that you can make the sheriff instead, so I might go for that. I'm gonna make Kaiser's <laughs> Thanks, Victor! Bye, bud! Maybe, I don't, I don't know if he's following me or if he's just chilling out. 
I know there are mods to make the game look and run better, but I like I like the vanilla game. So, and this is from my first experience. I'll stick with the vanilla game. I think for now. So we're gonna head over to Prim. We're gonna talk to something Johnson. I think his name was, and he's basically the guy that just mentions like, oh yeah, you know, you gotta. You, yeah. you, were, you were the one package that didn't make it, man, and I said, shit. <laughs> Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Gotta love it. There's Prim. The big roller coaster. I started mentioning this earlier. I hate roll. I, I, I'm not the biggest roller coaster guy. I haven't been on any, like, actual big ones. But I remember when I was younger, I was on this tiny little one at um, Sluggers and Putters. I don't know, have you ever been to Sluggers and Putters? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, they have like a tiny little roller coaster there, a little baby one. I, I was on it once and I did not like it. So, we'll just travel on. Uh, yeah, but that's not really the reason why I don't like roller coasters, but that's just an example of me not liking a roller coaster. I don't, I don't like, like roller coasters either, so. Yeah, they're just <laughs> a bit much for your boy. We still haven't heard Big Iron yet. This is crazy. In this playthrough. This is so sad. Maybe we did and we didn't hear it, but I just like having the radio on. These and those are powder daggers. Whoa! Fuck you. I don't like when that happens. I don't like when they have landmines that go off. It scares me. There is something really funny that happened while I was recording an episode on my own. There was an NCR trooper that I talked to, and he basically said, Hey, stay safe, bud. And as soon as he said that, and I, I, I said, Oh, shit. Hey, bud. Uh, I, I think I he died. died. No, it wasn't that, no. I stepped oh. on a landmine. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> yeah. Was like, yeah. Yeah, fuck. Man got fucked up real fast. If I can find another varmint rifle, that'll be nice, too. I, I might make an exception to my rule if I don't want to use the courier stash stuff. You know, remember when I mentioned I don't want to use the stuff from courier stash, I don't want to use the stuff from other things. Yeah. I think I might anyway. But can you get the, can you get like the NCR Ranger armor? Yeah, you can. If you have a reputation of like with the NCR, then eventually oh, cool. you, yeah, you can open up the safe house and you get the Ranger combat armor and the Ranger patrol armor. And also some guns. So that's basically my goal. Yeah. How do you like the gunplay? It's actually really nice. I, I really do like it. Maybe it comes from me having other shooter experience, but I, I personally just really like it. Like, I feel like the mixture of VATS and actual gunplay is really neat. I think that they did a very good job of bringing all that stuff back. Knowing me, I would probably panic and use VATS a lot. Yeah, that, I, I I feel like I use bats as a panic button as well. Prim. <coughs> is this um where the legion? Oh, this is NCR. This is NCR territory here. There's a trooper right there. Prim is off limits, and he says, "What's going on in Prim? Some convicts, blah blah blah." I take care of my. Uh, thanks. May want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Thanks, man. See, and right after he said that, right after he said that, and there's a landmine like over there on that bridge, and I fucking stepped on it like an idiot. It was great. That's the New Vegas what, what experience. Was city, what, what was the city that you went to where the Legion was crucifying people? That was. Uh, shit. It, the name's on the tip of my tongue. I don't quite remember. Like. <clears throat> well, we'll probably find it this episode if I stay on good pace, to be completely yeah. honest. Oh, is this Hayes? Is this Lieutenant Hayes? That's Sergeant McGee. Hey, bud. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California. I gathered the Fifth Battalion, First Company. If you want to talk about something? Speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from the Hub originally. He's from the Hub. This guy's from the Hub. I'm from the Hub. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Good to hear. Goodbye, bud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Hayes' tent. Hello, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? 
What are you doing out here? We're sitting out here to hold back a tiny convex from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. I want to see if I can start helping out early. Hmm. What's the problem with the mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. We're hmm. trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns and some firepower. But shit. Things are just going slow. Give me information on the no, convicts. Like, convicts. They take a call themselves mm. <laughs> Oh, that's right, yeah. Because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's the NCR Correctional Facility. Gotcha. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And they've been ransacking the area since then. Have some free time. Ask away. I like this guy. Oh, I've already asked him. Where's Kyle? Lieutenant Hayes! Lieutenant Hayes! If you've got something to say, say it to the lieutenant. Well, geez, I don't think you're in much of a position to be saying that, Missy. He's just a trooper. I'm just, you're just a trooper. I'm just a guy, right? We're in the same boat here. Why did I fucking think that was a person? I thought that was a trooper. <laughs> it's a fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. I'm not gonna steal. Here. I'm not gonna steal from the NCR. I'm not bad. You're gonna steal from the Legion, though, Yeah, yeah, I'll try. I'll... You know, I might leave the Legion to their business until I can find. Until they start provoking me. If they start provoking me, then I'll start shooting them, which they probably will after I put on the Ranger armor, but. Oh well. So look, you're right there. See? Check this out. There we go. I had to disable it. Nice. Yeah. Gotta be quick on it. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick this is the guy that told me to stay safe. You've lost? We won't go quiet. The Legion can count on that. Yeah! We won't go quiet. The Legion can count on that. You've lost? You've lost? No, I, I wanted him to say patrolling the Mojave makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's much I can really do with Lieutenant Hayes, at least at the moment, but yeah. Let's see, I know that my reputation with the Powder Gangers isn't terrible yet because I haven't killed Joe Cobb yet. Well, I'm still getting shot by them, but other than that... Go for the arm. It's actually a smart play. Headshot! 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 Shit. Who is? Not the head! He's running! You're not going in there! You're not going in there! Oh. Okay. oh shit, you're right. Hold on. This guy had some. Egg timer. Varmint rifle. Bottle cap. Nice, nice. Exit. Now, what I will do is I'll go to my weapons. Where's my varmint rifle? Repair. There we go. Oh, so you just mix two of them together. That makes yes. a lot simpler than in... Than in 76? Yeah. So, okay, so you're gonna need some screws, wood, steel gears... Look here, I also have... I also have this. Look, I don't even know. I got this from... Yeah, I got a lot of shit from Courier Stash and stuff. Like, here, look, look. The, we got the armored Vault 13 jumpsuit. We got see, look. We've, we've already got metal armor. Like, I'll just put, put this the, shit on now, I the, guess. Put the, put the, jump, put the Vault 13 jumpsuit on, just because I want to see it. All right, here, 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 here. Oh. Look, it's the same yeah. one from the end cutscene when he when he went like this. When he went out of the wasteland. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I think that I think that getting this DLC is like literally two bucks. So. You get a lot of nice shit with it. Not to plug the product for being like almost a decade old at this point, but... Yeah, lightweight metal armor. 
The Vault 21 jumpsuit's also pretty neat. Just, I, I just like, I like all the stuff in this game. Very well designed. But yeah, we get a grenade rifle, get throwing spears, you get a 10 millimeter pistol. Yeah, look at that, it's great. Nice. It's also one of my stronger guns right now, I think. But yeah, also the same thing for mixing weapon for mixing weapons goes for armor too. So pretty new that guy has a stim. Like here. What I'll do right now actually is I'll set in my weapons and there you go. What's that? <laughs> Get yeah, that saved. Cool, cool. So, oh yeah, I wanted to come into here. You can go into Vicky and Vance. I think that this is also where we can talk to Prem Slim. Next things, we're gonna rescue Deputy Beagle. Then we have to ask him about where the whereabouts of the guys are. Johnson Nash. That's his name. That's what. Here. Boy. <laughs> yeah, you get it. You get it. Uh, after... Yeah. Well, now you mentioned it a few minutes back, one of the timings was out scavenging for a supply. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know if I can get it. You may have heard where they were going. Don't go get yourself shot. Thanks, Johnson Nash. You have a good one, bud. Where's Pr is Prim Slim even in here? Right? There he is! There he is! There's the boy! There's Prim Slim! Prim Slim! Prim Slim! I freaking love him. I fucking love Prim Slim. I love this guy. <laughs> that is that is he makes a pun during the story, I think. Perhaps. Or maybe they just didn't know. We'll never know for sure. You can put your eyes on That's right. Bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes! Thank God, buddy. Hardly spoke to folks around him. Didn't I have too much to say? No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make the sounds. See, see, he made a sand pun! I have to say, the writing in this game has me pretty impressed right now. Okay, I'm gonna head out now that I've seen the beauty of Prim Slim. Yes, you've seen Prim Slim. You can leave in peace. Goodbye. The Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I stay clear of that place for hard for you. We'll raise the dealers over there. And that rickety roller coaster's lying before now. Any day because it wasn't built to go. Why? This is the Vicky and Vance Casino. He's a premier again. I love Prince Slim. I love, I love him. And the notch is on his pistol, number one yeah. in 19 more. One in 19 more. Uh oh. You wouldn't be too long in town. Came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. This next room is tough. <coughs> the trike before we're dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men hadn't made a slip. Twenty one would be the ranger. I wanna see big I wanna see The morning passed so quickly it was time for them to meet It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street Folks were watching from the windows everybody held their breath 
They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. About to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas red and all clear leather for a bullet belly rip. And the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. It was over in a moment and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. Big iron, big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his head. I love Big Iron. Sorry that that wasn't the greatest performance of that song ever done, but... Gotta conserve the shots in this thing. That's what I'll mention. If I have to redo this again, that'll be fine. But... This guy's the tuppy. Now, I think I have dynamite on me. I do. Okay, maybe it will be better if I just... What about the weather 10 mil? Actually, hold on, what about the machete? If I can get the leader, then that'll be nice. <laughs> if we die here, that's fine, but... Okay, okay! Damn it! Fucking died. That's okay. Here, what I'll do... Hold on, let me actually leave this here because I'm not even in Sunday Bar anymore. Well, you know, I'm in it, but I'm not... Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we'll just load it here. Again, we're still level one, so... Oh, you know, that's, that's actually pretty smart. I'll, I'll head in here. We're just gonna talk to him. We're gonna talk to Brimslum again. I like this. I like this song. Johnny Guitar, I think. <laughs> that cowboy robot. <laughs> nope. Nope. Alright. Beagle. So let's talk to Brimson. Love him. I love how excited he gets. <laughs> Sand spun. <laughs> I love how I love how much personality Prim Slim has. <laughs> Thanks, man. Love you, Prim Slim. I'd give you a moi if I didn't know anybody more deserving. See if we can't do much about that situation in here. Here we go. Into the bison, Steve, we go. I do like that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you're scattered all, scattered all across the floor now, bud. How do you feel? I don't suggest you're much for talking anymore. Rangers gotta do what a ranger's gotta do. Oh, 
I'll search you all right up quick. Give me your dynamite. I don't need long fuse dynamite, really. What's interesting is I could have sworn... Oh, I wonder if it's the fact that I fucking blew him to bits that he doesn't have <laughs> the, the, the helmet. <laughs> oh, we're stuck without it again for now. That's okay. Your NCR money, your armor rifle, your dynamite, your rounds, and your cases. Yep, thanks, bud. Now, let's see... Okay, here, let's see. Aid, aid. Alright, let's see here. I'll use another one. One? Oh my god! Yeah. Decapitated that one. Bottle caps, cases, stim packs, and we're pretty we Oh yeah, here. So here we go. We'll do this. I'd say we should get this explosives was so we got three more and we'll sink those all hmm we'll sink those into lockpick actually anything else that will be nice to have that's on like 24 right on the verge let's put that into sneak I guess or we'll put it into guns Yep. Oh, that's right, it's not 357 government, it's 4570 government. See, Swift Learner, this directly counteracts the other thing, right? Done. Hey, there's the trooper helm, I found it. I think I might whip out my... Actually, here, hold on. Anything else in your repair? Yes, there is. That 9 mil pistols in good working condition, isn't it? This is... What does Dirty Water do, actually? I didn't check that. <laughs> Rad's plus five. We don't need that. I'll just use stims. Oh, yes. Here's how to lockpick. I'm gonna find the sweet spot. There you go. I think I'm getting the hang of that now. Are there any more in here? Because Deputy Beagle's right back here, I believe. There he is. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. Well, I guess I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I'll set you free. Oh, why, of course.
Big iron, yes. If we were to miss a convict or <coughs> to the town of all of Queer, the strange you one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big behind on his head. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw loose and a running came a whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. In this town there lives an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, tall youth of twenty-four, and the notches on his pistol numbered one in nineteen more. One in nineteen more. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain, folks around. What are we to do the next time? Was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Ray. After Texas Ray. It wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Ray. You may be able to get them to take over the town. But the outlaw didn't worry, men that tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty one would be the ranger with the big iron on his head. You also may be able to take the town under his wing. Born and passed so quickly, it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. About to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still thought about today. Texas read it all clear, leather for a bullet barely ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. It was over in a moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. Big iron, big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. Big iron on his head. Uh -huh. you know what you're doing. Uh, we'll dig it up That's big iron number two of the playthrough so far, boys. <laughs> the one in the fastest suit seems to be calling the shots. Word of advice, though. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Basically, Easy Pete's easy. He's a good guy to get along with. I like Easy Pete. Hey, Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Well, everyone does have a gun. We can stand to get a little better equipped. Sounds good. So we've got a good chunk of XP from all this, actually. Let's go talk to Chet.
at the general store, and we'll barter with him a little bit. I don't remember if it's speech or barter as a check, but I have both at this one. I like Chet, too. He's cool. I like his voice, actually. Now just hold on. You made your point. <laughs> and uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. Ooh, I didn't realize that he had a long barrel for Hold on, I thought that before he had... I thought that he had like a revolver cylinder or something. Oh well, never mind. It's all about quantity over quality. Weapon mods are spec. There's also the leader was a New Vegas type, typical city boy. The great Count Norman was staying in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies of the NCR. Well, thanks, man. Take it easy now. We'll do. And if you're wondering why I'm not going through every single little bit of dialogue, it's because I've already been through a good chunk of it. So, let's see, those are the three things that we really needed to do. Let's check our apparel real fast. Lightweight metal armor. I'll actually put on this for now. Just that it feels a little bit more like we're actually doing the mission with about the same gear that they'd expect us to have for it. Instead of the courier stash stuff. You, you know what I mean. This is just a home. I don't need to be in it. What time is it right now? It is 2.43 in the morning. So we'll do this and then we'll wrap up the episode with that, I think. It seems like a good way to end the episode. Let's make one quick save. There we go. That's save five or six, I think. Okay, oh yeah, here's this. So we can't make any Mojave Express shipments quite yet, but I'd say it's about time that we talk to Sonny and Ringo. There's Victor. Hey, here's Victor. Let's see if Victor can help. Hey, partner. Oh. Thanks, partner. I like that, Victor. He ain't a bad guy. Well, I mean, he saved me, but... I'm just messing around with the camera. So what's going on? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Let's do this. All right, all right. Uh, Time to look alive. The power bangers are here to play. Let's go. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I'll be set up near the store. Alrighty. Let's run right into the fray. We know they're coming. They know we're here. It's time to get moving. Let's clear them all out. Shall we? Victor's here as well. Well, I think I know what it's time for. This will be epic. Oh shit, get out of the way! That's okay, don't worry about it. Let's switch back to the varmint rifle. Oh shit, Trudy is almost freaking dead. Are there any more gangers? Oh, there they are. So there's that. Good Springs likes me as well. <laughs> Quest completed. Hey. I owe you a huge favor for this. That's a hundred caps. I did have what was left of the car. Thanks, bud. Means a lot.
Now let's check out what these guys had. Nothing I need. Now he had the big iron. fast we'll repair our apartment rifle with the other one just got to keep it let's keep we got to keep that boy in tip-top condition you know or at least as best as we can manage well let's just head in here and thanks again for all your help yeah yep see you bud Well, that was. Hi. Hi, Sunny. Yep. That brand blah blah, blah. And CR. A new California Republic. They can be really pushy, but the roads are safer because of them. Not that I have a choice. Well, the wildlife the one thing. They're protecting the wrong. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. It's the Legion, of course. Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves, and they got some real nasty ways of killing them. Yeah, I've seen the crucifixions. Maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. No, 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 no. I've seen for myself. Let's see. Cool. Well. Until next time. I think that line right there, until next time, that is pretty perfect for leaving this episode here. Well. Hey. hey. Gotta say, hopefully you guys are enjoying New Vegas so far. I'd say I'm having a blast right now. I'd say it's very good that we got the save to work, right? And now that we have, we've made pretty fast progress, actually. So next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk to some of the other candidates that Deputy Beagle proposed to be the next Sheriff of Prim. And we're going to try to level up a little bit more. If we can get our lockpick skill increased, then eventually I think we can get lucky if we have a 75 lockpick skill or higher, which, you know, that means that we won't be getting the lucky unique revolver for a while. But, you know, basically... I, I, I know a good bit about the game. I haven't played, of course, until now, so I'm really excited. I, here's hoping that it all works out in the end, that it all saves and stays safe and such. Speaking of which, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying New Vegas, which I guess this is New Vegas Take 2, but... Yeah, I love you guys. Hopefully, at least this beginning section will be a little bit quicker instead of having to wait for a few episodes to get the same thing done. But, yeah, I love you guys. Have a good one, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, stay awesome. Bye-bye.